Now when you hear the word exoskeleton, you may be thinking about something out of a sci-fi film. Now don't get me wrong, that would be freaking awesome. But technology just isn't there yet. But where it is, is here with Dinson's X1 exoskeleton. Now, it's just a pair of robotic legs, just a pair of robotic legs that can help move your hips for you. They lift your legs right up for you as you're walking. With the AI and the built-in motors, they can assist you in hiking further for longer with ease. Now, I've had these robot legs for about three months now. I've tested them in the winter, in the snow. I've tested them on flat land, not flat land. I've tested them pulling gear to a campsite. I've tested them pulling gear from the campsite. And I am off the trail. Pay attention. I've tested them running. I've tested running without them on. Yeah. So now, before you buy it, let me try it. Let you know if these exoskeleton legs are worth the bunny or if they're just funny. Let's get to the lake and go over my results. You guys gotta come with me. They claim wearing the robot legs can reduce your heart rate by 20%. I gotta say, I've been hiking for over a half mile. I'm not out of breath. It's crazy. Now, I'm not the most in shape person by any means. And I do run out of breath, usually quick. Years from doing things that I shouldn't. But right now, I can breathe. So here they are here. What they do, when you're in assist mode, they will actually help you move your legs up and down. These built-in motors here, connected to your thigh, will move your leg up and down. It will force it up and force it back down. Assist, there's four different modes. You have transparent, where they're just there. They're not helping you at all. You have eco, and that is the lowest assisting mode. It barely gives you any assistance, but it's still there. You have sport mode, which moves your legs for you. It's, it's crazy. With the AI, it knows that you're moving. It, it learns your walking pattern and it will actually move your hips and legs for you. Then you have boost mode. This is like, it's running for you. In boost mode, it goes crazy. I only use it in boost mode, booster sport because eco mode isn't the strongest and I want to be able to feel that power. On top of the assistance mode, they also have resistance mode. Right now I'm in resistance too. I gotta say, I hate this. I hate the resistance mode. Not because it doesn't work, it's because it works too well. It's like you're walking through water. So this is meant for training. If you're training for a marathon or coming downhill like that, it slows you down. Take some, take some pressure off of your knees. And be more careful coming downhill. Or if you just want to work out. After a few minutes of resistance mode, your legs feel like you just spent all day jumping on a trampoline. You know that feeling where like you jump and you can't really jump anymore? And I gotta say, I'm already out of breath. I've only been doing this for three minutes in resistance mode. I hiked for a half hour in assistance mode. In three, three minutes in resistance, I'm shot. Like I said, I hate resistance mode but you may love it. So here they are here, the X1 exoskeleton robot legs. On either side, you have your hip motors. Right in the front is where the battery is stored. It slides right into place and then gets Velcroed just to make sure it stays in place. On the back, you have an adjustable waistband which adjusts with a push of a button to make sure you get a proper fit. If this is not fitted to your body properly, it will not help you completely. So make sure this is adjusted properly to your waist. It has a nice cushiony waistband for extra comfort. And when these are on, it's weird. There's so much to it 
But since it's helping you move, you barely notice it's there besides the fact that your legs are kicking more than they normally do. I have notes because I've been testing these for three months. So I've tested this pulling gear to a campsite with a sled in the winter time. I was able to pull that sled full of gear across the field with ease. I was running across this field. Pulling it through the woods with mud, sticks, and leaves, and then some snow, it was no problem. Coming back out of that campsite was a little more difficult. It's all uphill at that point, and that sucked. But with the robot legs, it did suck a little less, but it still sucked. Next trip I took him on was with my bug out cart with Lila. I ended up pulling a whole cart full of wood and I was running down the trail with my drone behind me. It literally looked like I was in the future and that was so cool. When it says it reduces your increase in heart rate by 20%, it really does. That is the biggest difference I've noticed with these robot legs. Like right now, I just hiked over a half mile to get here and I'm breathing just fine. I've also been using these almost every night when me and Lila go for a walk. She takes her scooter out and I go for a walk slash run. We go a mile away from the house and then a mile back, so two miles. I don't notice how tired I'm getting because the robot legs are doing most of the work, but by the time I'm back to the house after that two mile walk, my legs are dead. And I think that's because the robot legs are doing most of the work for me, so I don't feel how much I've done until I'm done doing it. I also want to talk about how they help you running, but I'll get to that after this next part. I've really noticed a huge difference hiking uphill. Because these assist you in walking and hiking, they assist you on climbing up that hill too. They will help your legs go up the hill, which is great for when you're coming back from a hike. And let's say the hike goes up and down. Those up parts really suck on the way back home. These make it suck a little less. Now for the running aspect. I went to a track that's about a half mile in distance. Now again, I am not a runner. I'm not a long distance runner. I'm not a short distance runner. But I ran around this track without the exoskeleton legs first. Halfway around it, I had to stop and take a break. After that, I had to take three more breaks without the exoskeleton legs. I didn't have to stop in those breaks, but I had to stop running and I walked. It took me three minutes and 30 seconds without the legs. This is the crazy part. It took me 27 minutes to catch my breath after that three and a half minutes of running. 27 minutes for me to catch my breath and for my heart to calm down. <laughs> I know, three and a half minutes of running to 27 minutes of recovery time. Like I said, I am not in shape, I'm not a runner. Then I put the X1 exoskeleton legs on and ran the same track. I did it in three minutes and 24 seconds. Now it's not the biggest improvement in time, it's only six seconds, but it is an improvement in time. So after that three minutes and 24 second run with the exoskeleton legs, it only took me four minutes to recover and catch my breath. Four minutes, guys. Now that's huge, from 27 minutes to four minutes. And the only variable that changed were the, th were the robot legs. Oh, and I only had to stop twice in that half mile versus four without the legs. Now let's be honest, we're not getting any younger, but we are getting older. And technology is becoming a thing that just makes life easier. I mean, we got robot legs now, guys. Robot legs, freaking robot legs. These aren't for everybody. If you have hip problems, maybe even knee problems, I believe Dinsys first started out with actual exoskeleton legs for people with disabilities, and then they developed these ones for everybody. But let's say you have hip problems or knee problems, just problems walking in general. You're getting older, your kids are faster than you, your grandkids are faster than you. You want to walk faster without hurting yourself. That's where the exoskeleton legs come in. So like I said, they're not for everybody, but maybe they are for you. Are they worth the money or just funny? I gotta say, they've helped me in every scenario that I tried them out in. They really have. So they're definitely worth the money. If you guys are interested in checking these out, learning more about them, maybe even purchasing some, I'll leave a link down in the description down below. But for now, I'm gonna continue on with my hike. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me on this, is it worth the money or just funny? Exoskeleton Robot Leg Edition.